Welcome to the Social for Brokers podcast. Today I have with me Jay from Newspage. Now, if you haven't heard of Newspage, they're a company and they're on a mission to decentralize the PR world and democratize the media, giving everyone the chance to hashtag be the story for free. Okay. So in layman's terms, because it was something I'd never come across before, it was something that Lewis um, spoke to me about on the podcast a few weeks ago. What they're doing is putting real mortgage brokers, just like you guys, the listeners, into newspapers. And we're not just talking your local newspapers. We're talking of the likes of The Times, The Daily Mail, BBC News, and also getting them on radio and TV as well. So they're giving you brokers access to getting your opinions out there on these channels. It's no longer a group of five panelists that can give opinions on these type of channels. News page is really flipping the industry on its head. I've seen loads of brokers start to do this with Newspage over the last few, I'd probably say a few months since I've been aware of it. And that's why I wanted to get Jay on the podcast to talk to you guys about how it works, how it can help you generate more leads, but also get your name out there more than anything. But anyway, enough from me. Jay, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you very much for having me. I've been looking forward to this. Good. Well, we we had this booked in just before Christmas, didn't we? And there was a bit of to in and fro in and we kind of said, right, let's do it in the new year. Fresh new start. Give our listeners something exciting to listen to. Absolutely. So thanks for coming on. So I've given quite a short introduction into what news page is, and we will go into it in more depth as the podcast goes on. But before we do, can you talk to us a bit about how it started? Because this is some this is known as a startup company, really, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, it's a startup com- company, and it was founded by Dominic Hyatt, uh, who's a who's a PR and a former journalist. And uh, actually, the business was set up around two years ago. But building the tech and just the platform and everything takes quite a bit of time, mm-hmm. and so it's been around, kind of open for you use for around uh, one and a half years now. So, mm-hmm. uh, uh, but really, we've kind of ta- it's taken off in the past. I would say six months because we've got new people on board. It was just Dominic and the tech guy in the beginning, and now there's myself and there's Johnny Stevens who's joined the team. The team, so obviously, you know that that strengthened the, our ability to produce more coverage for our us- mm-hmm. users. And that's, uh, re- and that's, that's really moment. it's it's only been going around two years from from seeing the website and seeing the way that people speak about you. You'd think that it had been around for a lot longer. So that's testament to the company because it's marketed in the right way and it gives off the right message. But why did they start the company? I'd be interested to hear as to why it started. Well, PR is expensive, right? Normally, the, the standard route is to to go through uh, a PR agency and they they cost quite a bit of money. And there really wasn't. And, and I think Dom did a, did a great thing here by seeing that there that you could get the, give the same services to smaller businesses and get their voices out there and you could do it by a, a platform where if you have enough volume because we are a business at the end of the day, a day you know we have to make a, 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 for it to be viable you know we have to have to have certain kind of kind of levels of income from from it mm-hmm. and uh, and he saw that if we have enough volume then we can make it a, a proper proper business and nobody was really there are PRs who do things small bit businesses. I'm not saying that, but there was no single PR platform, and actually, there's no PR platform end of. I don't know. Somebody might argue with me on that, but I don't know know of any, and certainly not none that uh, serve small businesses. Um, we're going to get into how the platform works because Lewis from Shaw Financial Services he taught me through how it works, and I think it's very intuitive. It's flipped the whole industry on its head, but. Can you explain to us what a normal PR company would do and how a normal PR company would work? A normal PR company would uh, they would say they'll plan some PR strategy for you and then they'll tell target certain media and so forth. They'll all, probably all of this they'll charge for, of course, and then yeah. they will always they, they might produce content for you. And what they their main task is to get that stuff into the media. So you've got what's called earned media and paid for media so paid for media is all the advertising and so forth earned media is kind of pr where you're uh, where you get into the news you get into uh, you, you get columns or op-eds as we say say into the media you get featured featured there you get your quotes in the media this is what a, a traditional pr firm would do right and we're going to talk about how you guys are different but what channels or what newspapers do news page get featured in or what do they get their clients featured in? 
well, I, I, I don't know if you've seen the meme on, on, on the internet where there's Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Norris and Sylvester Stallone asks Chuck Norris how many push-ups he can do and Chuck Norris says all of them. And it really is, <laughs> it, it really is all, all, all of them. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's the Guardian, it's the Times, it's the Financial Times, Daily Express, it's, uh, it's, it's ta tabloids, it's uh, BBC, it's Sky News and it's radio, it's your local paper and then it's also your trade uh uh, trade papers or and, and trade web websites so it's pretty much all of them so you can yeah. speak to brokers and get those on those websites mm. suppose i want to get into the crux of how the whole process works now so if i'm a mortgage advisor and i come to news page talk us through exactly what happens and what you need to do to be featured yeah, well, first of all, you need to sign up, right, if you haven't haven't yet. And that takes all of one minute, you know, that you, you need to have an email. And I think most people nowadays do have an e email and then you put your name in there. And then you're actually able to answer what we call news alerts. So there's two ways you can get into the in, into the media. One is news alerts and the other is that you provide the press release or the story. So if we first talk about news alerts, because I think that's the big thing and the brokers are just absolutely brilliant at that. So a journalist is working on a story, you know, something happens in the property market and they need to hear from experts. So the journalist will come onto news page and they'll write a news alert and they'll press send on it and it will go to the mortgage brokers. And then they get an email, you go, you click on the on, on on the link there and you sign in to news page and there is the request from the journalist you read through it and then you provide your answer and the maximum amount of words so it's short you don't need to write an essay i mean i remember when we got started we didn't have a character count uh a limit on our on our website you know some people would write war and peace but uh we, we've limited that to 175 words oh, is that and it? Then, wow. yeah yeah because for, for a news alert right i think one one thing that's probably get into the media a little, little more in, in detail but but uh, a normal news article is quite formulaic right it's, it's done in a certain way right something happens and then you have three or four quotes from uh, from from ex experts so the journalist can then go through the feed all the all the responses that they've got and read okay well this one's good i think this one i'll use mm -hmm. and then they pick the ones that they they feel are the strongest and the best for the article they're, they're working on and it's that simple i mean you know you, it'll take you most of the time it'll take a few minutes to answer a news alert and it doesn't have to be long and it and it, and it shouldn't you know they're looking for sound bites just for short and articles. sharp sweet. short sharp and uh and 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 that's it so if can you give us an example of one of the questions that would come through on a news alert if I was a mortgage advisor, what would land in my inbox? What would it say? And what do you want me to write? Uh, property uh, data, for example, you know, how sale, sales have gone up or then they've gone 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 down. What's the reason? Mm -hmm. It could be something then, as simple as that. And then off you go. Yeah. And then you, you give you give your answer from from on on in your view or a lender does some something, changes something, uh, something. And then what's your view? Are they doing the right thing or not? And I suppose what what news page want is they want a cross section of different people because some people might write in a humorous tone, some people yeah. might write in a quite a serious and corporate tone, and I assume that they don't want everybody the same, do they? Because that was the issue with PR before, wasn't it? That it was the same people appearing in, like for example, Martin Lewis. He's got a slot on Good Morning Britain. He's the only one that you get an opinion of the property market at the moment, don't you? Yeah. Can you and see that ever changing? Yeah, I see it changing now. I mean, one of the problems was, was that, uh, you know, big corporations have, have uh, th these big PR uh, teams teams, and they use PR agencies and they were the ones who would always have uh, give something to, to the media. Now, the thing with, with uh, independent brokers, for example, they have strong opinions, right? So these big corporations, they're always afraid of risk, so they'd give really boring quotes, right? It was mm -hmm. like everything was on the one hand, this happens, and then on the other hand, this ha happened. It's like, oh, yawn, right? And uh, and smaller business owners, they don't go through like several layers of approvals like a, like a big corporate mm. and uh, and they can give quite strong opinions. And this makes for what we call good copy, right? It makes the good reading, right? It's mm -hmm. not boring. So, so the media nowadays, as they've lost to social media and, and uh, they, they've lost a lot of uh, 
breeders, you know, they've lost a lot of eyeballs. So what we, we're able to provide, or actually what our users are able to provide, we just provide the platform, is really interesting, exciting stories and comments. And we were talking about this before we came on the podcast about small business owners, that a small business owner is so passionate about their product and it comes across in the way that they speak. You're going to get that passion come across from a small business owner reporting on a something that's happened with a lender rather than a corporate. And that's what can make articles a lot more interesting for people to read. Have you got any top tips for the listeners if they were to sign up to this? What is the best way to respond to a news alert? Have you got any tips for them? Yeah, read the question carefully and answer the question. As yeah. simple as that. As simple as that. That's absolutely number. So really read it, think it through. What are they asking? And then answer it. And answer it honestly. Mm-hmm. Really don't, don't, don't think about what they want to hear. You know, maybe what would they want? No, answer it honestly from your experience and from what you know and from your you, from your experience your point of view so yeah, because absolutely. that will come off a lot more honest a lot more trustworthy yes so news alerts is the first one what was the second way that people can write articles for news page so if you have an idea for a story or if you have a press release you can upload that onto news page mm-hmm. we will have a look at it and uh, if we think the press will be interested in it or if we think a certain publication will be interested in it we will pitch it for you and and, and distribute it for you Ah, right. That's interesting. So they can come to you with ideas. Yeah. A lot of the mortgage brokers that we speak to, one of the biggest struggles is coming up with topical ideas for their content. And you were talking about a service that Newspage, that they've released in the past, but it's come to the forefront now. You talk to us about that because you can speak to a seasoned journalist, can't you? Yeah, you can book a 20-minute chat with with an experienced journalist who will uh, come up with some ideas for you specifically for for you they're they're really good i've sat in on several several of them and and uh, you know on on average you get three or four really great article I- ideas and then after afterwards actually you, it's a bit of a crash course course really into how you can come up with ideas and what what makes for good good what what the media wants so that's really good because if you're speaking to a seasoned journalist they know what the media wants but from my point of view when i talk to people about social media you can use those ideas to start creating social media posts or creating social media videos because, for example, that journalist may – a big thing in the news at the moment, which you'll have seen, is our house prices going down in 2023. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be a big feature on a lot of these news websites, isn't it? That can be repurposed into social media content as well. Absolutely. I mean, if you write uh, – I mean, you probably know this better than me, but if you write – uh, a, 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 let's say it's a blog post for your own own website, and it's timely mm-hmm. and it's 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 good. Then you can you can split that into several different pieces for social media, and you can spin off a video or a reel onto Instagram off it. And so you should, right? You, it's not just it should never nowadays it should never be a standalone thing. And we can talk about what you should do when when you are featured on on a news alert. I mean, that's also you don't just leave it. I mean, you need to do something with it, right? So, yeah. so it's ab- absolutely social media and mainstream media are are intertwined now, right? And 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 you have to be able to use use both of them. But I was going to ask this question further along, but I think it, it crops up here perfectly. You were talking about if a mortgage broker gets featured in an article, mm-hmm. you guys will actually give them the knowledge of how to push that out there as much as possible. How does it help them generate leads? Obviously, it's it's credibility, right? For, it's credibility and it's distribution. So more people see you, right? Mm-hmm. If you've been featured in the media, that is 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 credibility. It, mm-hmm. it, it is, and you should use that. So you should also post it on your own social media. As I said in the Financial Times or in the Guardian, or, or put a post. I, I've seen a few brokers do really smart uh, smart things, and actually, this is a really good good tip. If you have the time for it, because when you're when it's a new news alert, right? It's it's a sound bite. It's quite a short short uh, comment that that's in in the news. You use that, and then you expand on that. I mean, from there you can actually write an an article, and you can post that on your website or on LinkedIn, and go more in depth with your opinion into it. So now you've been featured in the media, and now you give more value and more information to your audience through that, right? So I think that's that's a great way to use it. 
And what um, I keep on going back to Lewis Shaw mm-hmm. because I've seen him do it so many times. Yeah, he's he, he's, he's brilliant with it, and he's so, so very very active. And I think you can learn a lot from how he he uses news page and how he uses his coverage. And, and this is the thing with his coverage. So he is. I'll say he's quite outspoken. He mm-hmm, will say absolutely. to people, look, it's whatever you're saying is complete BS. You won't write that in the articles. But on his social, what he will do is he will take an article that might be featured in the Metro, take his sound bite, and then repurpose it into like a carousel on Instagram and talk about why he gave that opinion, why he doesn't think house or will think house prices will increase in 2023. And he'll give the points to that. So it's really interesting. It's not just using that article and saying, I've been featured in The Guardian. Mm -hmm. It's taking it and saying, this is what I wrote in The Guardian. Let me expand on it and tell you exactly, if I was to write a four-page article, this is what I would have written. It's a brilliant way to do do it. And and the fact that it was featured in in whatever publication, let's use the Guardian as an exa- example, adds value to his opinion. I, I would, I would argue that there's more chance that people will go through the carousel and really kind of see what, what, why he said what he said, and the rationale behind that. In my eyes, I love the idea of the Times and the Guardian, the financial, to everything like that. Mm-hmm. But if I was a mortgage broker and I was, say, um, a one to five person business in my local town or local village. My aim personally would be to get in all of the local newspapers because it gives you that local credibility more. So do you have brokers that do that? Yeah. Uh, and we do that for you. OK, oh, and okay. That's, a, that, that's a great, great point, because we, we should probably talk a little bit about how we target the media. Please do, and, yeah. you were, and you were talking about leads. So what we, we would class them into national. OK, we've we got international as well, but but national, local and trades. So national is great for credibility and, and, and kind of really broad visibility. But oftentimes, if you're looking for leads, it's your local, which you, you, you refer to, it's your local media where you want to be because, you know, if someone's going to look for a broker, they'll probably want someone, someone local. Mm-hmm. So featured in the local media for pure leads often is better. It's nice for the ego to be in one of the big, big broadsheets, right? But mm-hmm. if you're in your local me- media, then that is much more likely to bring you leads. Very similar to when I speak to people about their social media strategy, when they want to use like Facebook groups, for example, you've got to, it's very similar. If you were to share a Facebook post in a group that was full of people uh, who live in the UK, there's not going to be many but leads from that. But if you post a mortgage post in your local village, you're much more likely to get leads off that because it's a much more concentrated audience, isn't it? Absolutely. And so do you give people advice on which articles they should post to, or do you simply take the response of the news alert and then go and find the best papers for them? Uh, we, we take the responses and then we d- distribute them to the to the necessary. Uh, so we, we would, for example, with brokers, we'll look where you are, uh, where you're uh, located, right? And then your responses will then be sent out to your local area right yeah? and is that a Which is actually, bit of software or is it somebody that's no there? no actually that's a good point and just reminded me if you sign up to newspaper because you don't have to put your address put your put your address in right because otherwise we don't <laughs> know how point. to target really 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 important to put your business address because that that's how we, uh, we we class it you're on in the system and go okay that's in that area and we send it out there and a lot of people will sign up and they'll just put their email they might put them in the cells on it, on it and then they won't put the address in it won't come up in our search and and you know then, missed then an opportunity. It. it really it really is so remember to put your 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 address in. And what is if if I was I know I'm asking loads of questions here and please do. I don't know anything a news page before we came on the podcast. I said to Jay, I just want to start because I'll fire loads of questions and it's really good for people listening to to learn the same way I am. If I was featured on the Guardian, for example, can I use that logo on my website to say I was featured, or do I need to? do I need to check with the Guardian that you're happy with it? Because I know it is a grey area. It is exactly a grey area. Let's put it this way. Most people will use it, and I've never heard anyone get into trouble with it. Right. But you've... Disclaimer you... on this podcast, <laughs> Disclaimer. always check with the Guardian <laughs> yeah. to make sure you yeah, can yeah, use yeah. the logo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was just one one thing, because I've seen some people do it and others that, that, that don't do it. But... So let's talk about some real success stories because we always like success on this podcast. 
Have you got any examples of big articles that have kind of gone, I'm going to say viral because it's a bit of a buzzword at the moment, but an article of a good example that has reached so many people and helped a company? I think there's there's so many, many of them. And it, okay. it's norm, norm, it gives you specific examples. Well, being featured yourself is is really strong. So having a feature article about you, and I think you mentioned Louis Shaw, we've had him featured in, he's got had his own feature article in FT Advisor, for example. That's that that's okay. really, really strong. Then successes, maybe we should talk about what's happened this week. I mean, it's a diff, you can't really class it as a success because you it's know, a positive thing it. born out of some negative comment. I yeah. Think. So we're talking about now Paul Lewis's uh, comments about independent brokers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and this isn't sorry to interrupt. This isn't Paul Lewis of uh, Mortgage First because there's a well-known mortgage ah. um, broker at uh, Mortgage First, not Mortgage Broker, but he's part of the 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 team there and he's very popular so it's not the paul lewis from mortgage first if anyone's listening it's a yeah. paul lewis that was on a money show i think yeah bbc money box and he wrote a column or, or his opinions were published in i news where he was uh where he, he suggested people go with a big firm mortgage broker mm-hmm. and uh so obviously our users mortgage brokers on news news page we were able to give them a platform to respond and i don't think that would have really been possible before you know they came out in force to defend their own which they have the right to and which which i think was a good thing mm-hmm. and and i've one i'm really glad that we were able to provide a platform where they can get their their views aired and that has been widely publicized in in in, uh, in in many 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 publications during this week and i think it's a story that will run maybe tomorrow as well as, as, as well so you know you've got three four days of media out of out of that and yeah you know, people got to got to respond and and, and defend them, themselves but i've seen that a lot the last couple of days i saw when the first article dropped and there was a bit of noise about it a couple of people had responded on there and said yeah. it's absolute rubbish and if yeah, if nobody's if nobody's heard of it, he he, as you said, he did an interview and he said you should go, you shouldn't go to your one man band, you should go to a big corporate one that has access to so many more products. And I yeah. think a lot of the mortgage brokers that listen to this, their argument was that at these big corporates, you're just a number, you don't mm. really matter to them. Whereas compared to the people that listen to this, a lot of the people that listen to this care about their clients, and and that was the issue. But over the last 24 hours, I've seen a big influx of people writing for newspapers. And that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for a company like yours giving them the voice to be able to do that. Yeah. And, and I have to take a step back and just like the evolution of a story, right? This, he, I think it was published on Saturday afternoon and actually we got the idea from a news pager from a mortgage broker who had pub, uh, who had read it and posted it on linkedin i, th- I think it was rowan frailing and uh, and i contacted mm-hmm. rowan i said said uh, you know we're definitely going to do a news alert on 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 on, the, on this do you want your name do you want us to mention that this is where we got it from from and he said yeah fi- fine so we mentioned okay. Ro- rowan you know thank this this started from a mortgage broker and then it took took off from there and it's an example because we've got so many brokers now on on news page it's not it's not just them responding to journalist requests it's actually them being able to also drive news right they see something happening in the mar- mar- market you know trends or something like like that that i mentioned lenders before i think you know lenders do uh, do do something they do a good thing they do a bad thing or in their view a good thing or a bad, bad thing they're able to come to us because we're not mortgage brokers right we can't we don't know what the what, what's happening in that that market yeah. because we serve all, all sectors and they come to us to say hang on this is i think this this i see this happening here but we, mm-hmm. as we, we can spot if, hang on, that might be a story. And that's the great thing. It's almost like a circle that a mortgage broker will give their opinion on something that's happened in the market. You guys think, ah, oh, that would make a really good story. Let's put it out to brokers to get their opinion on it. And it's almost yep. like a, you're all helping each other out. And I've always said this, the mortgage advisor community is one of the most helpful I've seen in any industry because everybody wants to help each other because they all have a very similar view on things. It's been amazing, and uh, it really has been one of our greatest successes. And it is thanks to brokers, and and how it's evolved is also really interesting. Because first we just had a few, you mm-hmm. know, on, on and and of course we want, well, 
as a startup, we need to grow. And we'd always ask, you know, can you uh, share with your, uh, 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 share this? And then some people said, well, you know, because they thought they found a good thing and they had found a good thing. You know, they said, well, then I might not get featured. And we always said, no, there's plenty of space for Mm -hmm. everyone. And uh, and uh, this then started to grow, and it also came into you know built into a kind of community. They communicate with them set with each other all, all yeah. the time. They exchange I- ideas, and you have to remember they have jobs to do, right? So they're meeting clients, doing their work. Not every you don't have time to, to answer respond every to newsletter, everyone, right? Yeah. But we have to be able to provide journalists all the time with responses, right? Otherwise, they won't come to us. Yeah. yeah. So now we've got this critical mass where there's enough. Not, or not enough, but there's many. And every time that journalists need something on the property market, on mortgages, they know they will find it from the mortgage brokers on news page. Yeah, and that's, like you say, you, you need 10 people because only five will respond because they're busy and that's no fault. They're running their business. Yeah, of course. But if you only had five, you might only get two people respond. So that's why we're out there trying to trying to spread the word of news page and... I think it's a great thing for mortgage brokers to get involved in. One of the questions I really want to ask, and the reason is because everyone loves a bit of drama, right? Mm -hmm. Have you had any friction from newspapers or other PR companies that you've almost taken their slots? Uh, I mean, that's what we're doing, and that's kind of our mission, right? Love it. And uh, so so, uh, I'm not going to apologize for that. Um, yeah, but we, we have, you know, we've had some, some people disparaging us and there was one lender. So I was told who, who had said, said, oh, that the news page is just clickbait and, uh, and, uh, and, right. and it's just ta- tabloids. And I wanted to find this person to ask them, like, you know, what, what do you mean, mean by that? Because uh, I would say 80, 90 percent of our, our, our the coverage we get is, is nothing to do with tabloids. And then having said that, you know, tabloid readers also have mortgages and all and 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 they have have a right to 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 read, read about this kind of information as, as, as well so i thought it was really really low but the idea was to to obviously disparage what we were doing and whenever you hear and this is a media tip if you ever hear someone criticizing someone for for clickbait or, or something like like this normally they, they they've got uh normally they've been been uh criticized and and rightfully so at, at the time there was there was some kind of some criticism toward from brokers toward lenders but having said that we've also had completely the opposite we've had had uh, brokers come up to us and say and say look this lender has done this and this is really interesting and guess what that goes straight into the media so it's the good and the bad mm. but i think they were not used to mortgage brokers having a voice in the media mm-hmm. and uh, and that's changing and and like anything else they'll 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 get they'll get used to it because what would happen before is there would be a panel of five people who are always there to back up what was going on in the stories to give a positive spin on it. Whereas now there's a hundred people with an alternate view, not a bad review, but a different yeah. review to those five same people that always came up with the opinions. And I always go back to it. Martin Lewis is the only person at the minute that everybody's listening to his opinion and believing it as gospel. Yeah. Whereas if there was some way you could infiltrate the the main news, like the goo the sorry, GMB, I always respond to as like Google My Business, whereas it's Good Morning Britain. Yeah. Um, yeah. if you can get someone to give an alternate view to Martin Lewis, it would put a bit more positivity in the market because at the moment he's scaring people into mm-hmm. doing things that they might not necessarily need to do. So it'd be good to get an alternate view on that, which is what you guys are doing with papers. Yeah, well, we, we've we've had this with uh, with with Martin. There's lots, lots of Lewises on this show today. Oh, yeah. aren't, aren't <laughs> it's difficult. It's, yeah, there's making Paul sure Lewis, that you're Lewis Shaw and uh, Martin. Yeah, Lewis. yeah, uh, yeah. And 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 Martin Lewis was was one one thing where there was uh, he was seen as by many brokers as giving advice, which, as I understand in the UK, that's that, that's a no no unless you're, mm-hmm. you're you're licensed. And rightfully so, they brought that up, and I think that was that was a good debate to have and uh, and and you know it's it's good to read about these things and have have different uh, different opinions that's i was actually going to go back to an, a point a point because what you say there is it's a difference of opinions it's a debate and nobody wants a one-sided media so and you'll even find this with your brokers that give responses you'll never you'll you'll always find two opinions that clash and yes. that's what makes a really good article isn't it Going back to my point with um, when you spoke about clickbait, I think that everything in the world is a bit clickbaity. 
a headline in the newspaper, it's got to be a bit clickbaity. So I think if somebody says that you're writing clickbait, well, yes, you have to. You have to do some form of clickbaitery. That's a new word I've come up with. You're well done. A, yeah, get that over to the journalist. journalist. Um, to be able to get people to entice them into reading that article or reading that social media post. So don't be afraid to be a bit clickbaity and get a bit of um, a bit of pull from your audience. Absolutely. I mean, the whole point of the game is 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 eyeballs, people to read the material, watch you on tele, to listen to you on 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 the radio. Absolutely, it's you're you're buying for people's attention. Exactly. Right? And well, we have covered a lot to do with news page today. I think the the way that we should kind of talk about the end of this podcast is how do people sign up to it? And go onto the website, mm -hmm. sign up. Sign up is is free. You can choose the free option or the premium option, where where you get editing help, help, and then your comments up into the top of the fee, feed feed. Um, but uh, the the free version is, is 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 one option. You can give it a whirl, give it a give it a try. It's genuinely free. And and how much is it for a premium version? What's the difference between the premium and the free? Uh, the premium is forty nine ninety nine a month. Okay, and what does that get you in terms of benefits? Uh, in terms of benefits, you you get editing help. So we edit oh, okay. your responses to make them as media savvy as possible. Mm -hmm. You're on the top of the feed, as we we say, because the journalists will go through and they'll they'll start reading the comments. And if there's a hundred comments on on there, they'll they'll stop once they've got enough, right, for right, their yeah. for, for their article. So your chances of being published are, are, are higher. Mm -hmm. And then the, the services such as the news chat to, to talk with a uh, with a journalist for story ideas, that's cheaper. And also, we offer pro edits, uh, which are cheaper for the the premium users. Which is that if you're writing an article for for uh, for, for the media or you're writing a press release, then we can we can edit that for you. Fantastic, that's great, guys. Go and check them out. Go and check out the website. Check them on socials. You're all over LinkedIn. I see them pretty much every day now, which is good for your um, appearance and and your branding to get people to see you. As a thank you, we donate ten pounds to a charity of your choice. So, which charity did you want us to make the donation to, Jay? Cancer research, please. Cancer research. We will make that donation for you, Jay. Thank you very much for coming on. What's the best way for people to reach you? Um, either on social, email, mobile. Yeah, I'm I'm on LinkedIn quite quite a bit, so mm -hmm. you can find find me find me there. I've got a funny Finnish name, so it's not J, it's Jukka Vanen, so it's J U double K A, and then well, it's, it's spelling my name is impossible. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, good luck. I'm on the news page. <laughs> yeah, or then then just email me at J at newspage.co.uk, and you can say, how do you spell your name? <laughs> so it's J J A Y. Yeah, uh, as, as the first name. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing news page. And I wish you all the success in the world. It's going to be one of the biggest things, I think, in the next 12 months for people getting their name out there. Thank you very much. Thanks. Speak to you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.